Hey everybody, good afternoon. Hope you guys are having a good Monday so far. And uh, yesterday was a really exciting day uh, with what happened um, in the night game and the opportunity it now opens up for the Seahawks. And amidst that exciting news, amid that exciting revelation, we got more news after that game ended that fell under the radar a little bit because we're our season isn't over. Our season is still alive. We're, we're in the playoffs. But uh, this warrants talking about as well. And obviously going forward this week, we're going to talk a lot about this season. But uh, I do want to spend a little bit of time talking about all Seahawks news that comes across the desk. And this morning I made a video talking about the draft. And this video is going to be talking about even further in the future because uh, last night we got updates on um, the schedule in 2023. And we don't know the order yet. We don't know uh, when we're going to play each team. But we do have the home and away splits for every game the Seahawks will play in 2023. And I thought it would be uh, good to go over it. Thought it would be good to uh, review it. Thought it would be a good idea to... Uh, give a rough idea of what the Seahawks are looking at. And again, I want to stress this. Context is often everything when it comes to these games. Like, uh, for instance, I believe, just as an example, the 49ers this year. Every team that played the 49ers this year, with I think maybe one exception, lost the game they played after the 49ers game, partially because they were so beat up. So there are going to be little scheduling quirks like that. Um, maybe we'll get a chance to play a really good team the week after they have to play the 49ers next year. And if the 49ers do something similar, then that's an advantage, just as an example. And if we have to play like uh, four straight games against elite competition at some point this year, that could really beat us up even more than we foresee it happening just looking at the home and away splits. So we need to see more information, but let's work with the information that we have. So here are the 2023 home away splits for the Seahawks. We have nine road games and eight home games because we had nine home games this year. We're getting nine road games next year, or actually now it's 2023, so next season, whatever. But uh, obviously you've got the home and away against the Division rivals, we all know that, so I'm not really going to talk about that. Um, playing the Cardinals twice looks really appealing. Honestly, playing the Rams twice looks really appealing. And the Niners are going to continue to be the Niners, so it's not a terrible division. Or, well, it might be a terrible division, but it's not a terrible division schedule is what I mean by that. So, that's not so bad. That's a situation where you can look at it and go, you would expect to win probably four of those games. The other home games, we've got the Philadelphia Eagles, who I think are going to continue to be very good, although they do have a decision to make on Jalen Hurts this offseason. I think they will be good regardless of who their quarterback is. Washington Commanders, we need to see what they do at quarterback. They're probably going to lose Deron Payne, so really good chance the Commanders are not good next year. Cleveland Browns, no idea what to expect there. Going to be very interesting to see what they have with uh, Watson, who did not play very good this year at all. You've got the Steelers, who you got to figure are going to be at least decent. I don't know if they're going to be good yet, but they should at least be decent. And the Panthers, who... I, I don't know what to make of that Panthers team. Off the top of my head, they're probably going to need a new quarterback, but who? They won a few too many games to get one of the blue chippers. So, I don't know. That's going to be interesting. But uh, the home slate is not too bad. There's one powerhouse here with the Philadelphia Eagles. The other four teams, I think, could go one way or the other, depending on the offseason they have. The road splits, again, you have your division rivals. Then you have the Dallas Cowboys, who should be good. You've got the New York Giants, who, I don't know. I mean, we don't know what they're going to do at quarterback. They've got a reboot at wide receiver. They've got to probably do some stuff on that offensive line because I don't think it's very good. I don't know if they're going to keep Saquon. Like, that team is in an interesting crossroads where they were okay this year and they ended up making the playoffs, but their offseason is going to kind of determine everything. I think they could be like a 
four win team next year or an 11 win team next year or anything in between and it just depends on this offseason you've got the Ravens now it seems pretty obvious to me the Ravens have no interest in giving Lamar a bunch of money so if they lose Lamar Jackson and they don't draft a quarterback because they're not going to have a top pick or if they draft a quarterback like Anthony Richardson who is not going to be ready immediately that's a team that could have an off year. They might just go get some mediocre veteran like a Jimmy Garoppolo and just ride the year out and then figure things out in 2024. So that one's kind of tough. They The Ravens usually aren't terrible, but it wouldn't shock me if they were not good in 2023. Got the Bengals. That's going to be a big problem. The Bengals should be really good going forward. They're only going to keep building that offensive line. You've got our new best friends, the Detroit Lions. That's going to be tough over there. And the Titans, it it depends on what they do with Tannehill, right? If they decide to move on from Tannehill because it's too much money, then what do they do at quarterback? Malik Willis is nowhere near ready, and they, they're not going to have a high enough pick to get a blue chipper in the draft. So do they go after a guy like a Derek Carr just to hold them over? Or do they just go, let's just stick with Tannehill at this point? I don't know. That's uh, going to be interesting. But overall, I would say this schedule is a little bit tougher than it was this year. Like this year, we ended up kind of lucking out with the schedule, right? Because Denver ended up being awful. The Chargers ended up not being a complete powerhouse. And when we played them, by the way, they were so injured they, I don't even know if they were a good team at that point in time. Um, the division ended up being much weaker than we thought. Now, I think that will hold. But you also had games against teams that you lost to that weren't that good. The Saints were not very good. The Falcons, the Panthers, the Bucks. I don't think that's going to be the case this year. I think at the very least, you're playing that NFC East. The Eagles are going to be a big problem. The Cowboys... I don't know if they're going to be as good as they were this year, but they're going to be a quote-unquote problem in some ways. That defense should still be really good. So obviously, we're going to have to go through the offseason before we really know what we're dealing with. But offhand, I think this schedule is pretty moderate. It's not super hard. I can't say it's super hard when you're playing teams like the Browns, Steelers, and Panthers, and Commanders at home. And you are getting some teams that could go one way or the other, like the Ravens, like the Giants, like the Titans. But I think it's going to be a little bit tougher than it was for us this year when we got to play, let's face it, a lot of disappointing teams. And we were able to take advantage of that. So that's your home and away splits for 2023. What do you guys think? What do you make of it? Do you think we'll be able to have success against this schedule? Do you think any of these teams are going to surprise in the positive or the negative direction? Let me know. I will see you guys later for Snap Count Monday. Should be coming out around 3 o'clock. And that's uh, what the Seahawks are dealing with right now, man. Um, we still got one more game to play at least. And then we're on to the offseason. But uh, that's an early look ahead at 2023. I don't mind the schedule, but it's probably going to be a little bit harder than it was in 2022. Go Hawks.